Hey y'all, Wackwormer here with another Dwarf Fortress tutorial. This time we're going to be talking about digging, channeling, mining, doing all these things with the terrain, and trying to teach you the basic concepts of how the Z levels work in Dwarf Fortress and how building or designating those things to be done works. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit D for designations, and that's going to take us into this menu here. The useful thing to note about this menu is that everything you select on this menu has to do with removing material. You cannot add material with this menu. Case in point, I'm going to hit, uh, let's see, R. I'm going to hit R for up ramp. And you see my yellow cursor over here. I'm going to move it over here into the center of the screen. And I'm going to try to create some up ramps out through here. What happens? Absolutely nothing. That's because the Z level I'm currently on, there's no material there and there's nothing to make an up ramp out of. That's an important thing to note as you play Dwarf Fortress, is that this D for designations menu is mostly about removing material. The second thing to note about Dwarf Fortress is that Z levels are actually divided into two sub-levels. You have sort of your main level, and then you have a small floor level up under that. And different things that you build or designate are going to happen in one or two of those layers. For example, that up ramp I just tried to create, it's trying to build an up ramp in the main part of that Z layer, and there's no material here. However, there is a floor here. There is a floor that's part of the Z level that I'm currently on. In that floor, I can do things that are going to take me downwards. I can designate a down stair. I can designate a down ramp. And I can also channel, which is a little bit more advanced, but we're going to get to it in this video. So let's go ahead and make some down stairs. I'm going to hit J for downstairs and I'm going to do a little three by three area here and you'll see that actually gets filled in and the doors will come and dig that out and I'm going to unpause the game real quick and I'm going to let them do so. You can see two of those tiles started blinking that means those are the tiles that the dwarves are coming to get and they dig everything out. Now I'm going to move down one Z level remember that shift period and you can see that carving out that downstairs gives me access to the next Z level down. I can see what's below here. This is letting me peek onto the lower Z level. This Z level is completely full. The regular part of it and the floor part of it have material there, but I can see what's on it. Now, because there is material here, that means I can go in and I can do up things because I'm, I'm through the floor and I'm looking on the top half of that Z layer. So in this spot right here, I can do D for designations and we can do an upstair. So I'm going to hit U for upstair. And I'm going to drag that over here like so. So those six blocks right there, if I unpause it, then the dwarves, you can see the tiles are blinking. They're going to come in and they're going to dig out those upstairs for me. Now, the difference between the upstair and the downstair, that upstair does not allow me to peek on the level below. It's not giving me access. If I move down one Z level, I see nothing. I have no access to that lower Z level yet. What I need to do to get there is to construct another downstair, another down ramp, or something like that. So I could go in D for designations. I can go ahead and do a downstair with J. And I'm going to highlight all six of these right here. And because I haven't touched that floor level yet, the floor sub level of the Z layer, there's material there for me to carve a downstair out of. So that's why it's allowing me to select it and to designate that as being a downstair. Up and down ramps work exactly the same way. You carve the up ramps out of the upper half of the layer. You carve the down ramps out of the lower half. And down ramps allow you to peer into the lower part of a level. In the same way, if I were to also mine, let's go ahead and mine from here. And I'm going to take this out like so and I'm going to allow them they're going to dig the downstairs here and then they're going to mine this out mining happens only on the upper half of that Z layer the main part of the Z layer the floor here is going to be untouched so in this mining area what all was mined out here I can't use that to peek below only where they just carved out those downstairs over there am I allowed to peek onto the level below and see what's happening down there so that's a big, a big distinction in what up and down stairs and up and down ramps do 
and what mining does. Mining leaves the floor completely intact and does not allow you to peek below it. Now, something that's similar to mining in a way, but is definitely more advanced, is the channel option. So I'm going to hit H for channel. And what I'm going to do is where I finished my mining out right here, the last two squares are mined. I'm going to highlight those and allow those to be channeled. And you see I get an icon. So I'm validly selecting these tiles to be channeled, even though they've already been mined. They are uh, acceptable tiles to be channeled. So let's watch what the dwarves do. They come in, they dig things out, and you can see I've got the icons there for a downstair. And if I look over this thing with my cursor, you can see up here in the top corner I have a clay downward slope. So when they channeled in here, they dug out a downward slope, and I can peek on the level below it and see what's down here. And in fact, you notice that very different to what happened in this area where we were only peeking onto this level, that channel actually went ahead and did some digging here and made upward slopes. That's the difference between mining and channeling. Let me go a little bit further so you can see a little bit better what exactly channeling does. So I'm going to D for designations, H for more channeling, and starting here I'm going to do a nice big uh, sort of a rectangle of an area here. I'm going to let my dwarves come in and dig all that out, and we're going to see exactly what happens when they channel this out. You can see as they started sweeping across the area that there were slopes here, and then they got removed as they kept sweeping and got further and further. So when you're channeling, they're going to make slopes on the edge cases, the edge boundary of your channel, right? In the center, it's going to dig it all the way out and down as if you had mined it out on the first layer. So we dug through the regular material on this level, the main level. We dug through the floor. On the edge cases, we did an up-down ramp. So we have a down ramp on this level, and then when we move down one, we have an up ramp on this level. But out here in the center, we completely dug out the main level. It's useful to note that the floor still exists on this level, the level below where I designated the channels to happen. So if I move down again, I see nothing because nothing there is allowing me to peek down onto the next level. So just to reiterate, channeling, I came through here, channeling dug out the main part of the Z level where I designated it at. This is the level where I designated the channeling to happen. So they came through and they dug out everything in the main part of this Z level. They either dug out the floor or they placed down ramps in the floor if it was on an edge. So in the center they dig it out on the edge cases it's a downward ramp. I move down a Z level so this is the level below where I designated it at. The edges get an up ramp here and then the center just goes down to the floor level but leaves the floor level intact for this Z layer. Now something else to note. You can continue to channel and I could designate all of this to be channeled out from here to here and I could go down many many Z levels and start channeling all of this material. But what's going to happen is as we keep going down in Z levels they're only going to leave these ramps here that they built on the lowest Z level to move between the very lowest we dug and the one above that. So basically if my dwarves, if I were to unpause here and allow my dwarves to do this action they're literally digging themselves into a pit and for the most part will be unable to get themselves out. Now if they're miners they could dig their way out and then they could dig up some stairs and all that kind of stuff. But just keep in mind that as you dig out these channels if you're doing more than one Z layer at a time it can be a very dangerous activity and you could get your dwarves stuck somewhere. I want to go ahead and remove this channeling designation because I don't want my dwarves to do that. If I check my menu over here, I can hit the X button to remove designations. So I'm going to hit X. I'm going to come over. I'm going to start there. I'm going to come there. And then I'm going to go down all of these Z levels till I don't see it anymore and hit enter. And in that 3D box right there that I just made, it's going to remove all of those designations and everything is fine again. That's going to wrap up our tutorial on digging and ramps and mining and channeling and all that good stuff. If you have any questions or need clarification on anything, if you have feedback for me, I'm more than happy to receive it. Please leave it in the comment section below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, please subscribe. It really helps me out. 
and I will see y'all in the next Door Fortress tutorial.